That's right. All you do is you put the stuff. This was a rocket block. No matter silly. how much excess thing you get, and you see all this gunk up around the corner, it's never going to be allowed to make contact with the paper. Watch so this. So have to press hard, just really gently rest at the bottom of the corner. You have to try this yourself. It feels oh like nothing you've ever seen. It, Look at that. All the stuff on the corner. You have to feel it. It's so easy. You just go like, and I'm a really heavy hand. Just try it, Melinda. You won't believe it. Just from, from forward back, like this? Just, just, just touch it. Go forward. Isn't that amazing? Oh you don't even have to go backwards. You just yeah, have to go forward. Just forward. once. You don't have to go back. There you go. Wow. Right. That's it's the main thing. Aren't they amazing? Oh my goodness, Terry. <laughs> this is how perfect is this for people that are afraid to stamp? Cut these and I've shown these ones. Oops. I dropped it. There you go, Terry. Oh, pick it up. Look. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. And that does happen, by the it way. Happen. We've all dropped stamps before. Because I saw them on the website and I thought, but there's no demo, nothing showing me what it is. Oh. You know, so. On your website, is there one? Isn't that amazing? So people that are terrible samples. Why does it work? Why does it work? I love the fact that you can't get the gook on there. Okay, I'm going to do this again. Contents there is you've got these raised edges, okay? So it means that only the top surface of the stamp is allowed to make contact with the paper. Also, because you've got the rocky action, it means that you get an even dispersion of pressure all the way along. So you don't need to worry about, you know, if you press down a big stamp, you're not pressing all over. It evenly distributes the pressure, even if you don't need to press down. Oh, I just think for people that are, yeah, there's a whole, they come in a package, there's a whole set, see it sitting over there? Okay, for the envelopes, what did you use? That's another. Now what is, if you, like your these They're selling these. You can use one of these on your cricket mat, by the way. This one here is the repositionable one. You spray that on your cricket mat, you spray it on your stencil to position it down. We use it to stick the rubber stamps to the blocks. Once you spray this on something, it will reposition up to 50 times before you need to oh reapply. Okay? Now, that and on your cricket, can I answer real quick? Cricket mat, it won't, you won't have problem getting your paper up. Okay. No, just put a tiny little bit on. Okay. Just spray very thin mist. Okay. Leave it 30 seconds. Oh, so that's easy. 30 seconds, what it does is it allows all the propellant in the can to evaporate. Okay. So you're left with just the adhesive. That's fabulous. That's wow. And this is which one? And what is this you can one? Just a little bit oh, this is the permanent one. And then that will stick back on the bed. Look at that. And we're ready to board. Some of these are for stenciling and stuff, too. So this is the repositionable. That's this for the cricket. This is the permanent. the permanent. So if you put a new scrapbook page together, you can screw all your elements, lie them down. They're not quite in the right place, but two minutes. You can lift them, move them, lift vellum. them, move them. Vellum. After two minutes, oh, totally so invisible vellum. on vellum as well. Totally invisible After on vellum. After two minutes, it'll set permanent. Totally invisible on vellum. Two minutes, it'll set permanent. That's great. And then it's going to give a permanent bond altogether. They're completely acid, lignin, toxic free. You could be made of completely natural ingredients. When the guy first showed me them, he sprayed into his hand and ate it out of his hand. Oh my, oh my, God. my gosh. Was, you know, non-toxic. This one here is the remover. So, for example, if you get, if you're using this on your credit card day in day out, after a couple of weeks, you'll have a bit of a build. Yes. Oh. So you get a bit of a build up. Yes. You can remove it with the and start with a brand new clean mat. This is pristine. Also great. You know when you buy like really nice um, scissors, scissors, or things scissors. Like that, and you scissors. get the price tag stuck on it. Oh when yeah. You pin it away. You get this stuff. Undo, yeah. This would be much better than undo. You're just going to start selling it. You're launching it. You're going to launch it. This one here, fantastic for scrapbooking. Any scrapbook project, when you finish it, instead of having to put it in a paper protector, give it a thin coat of this on the top. It's totally invisible, and it has the same protective properties as putting a layer of glass over it. So it becomes anti-aging, anti-yellowing, moisture resistant, and it repels dust. All in one Oh, Sarah, that's a great idea. And it will protect and preserve that page forever. Can you use that on top of chalk? Like real chalk? Can you chalk it? Oh, my God. Instead of hairspray. Yeah. Oh, hairspray is such a disaster. Yes, it is. And all this is totally...
So they're just another range of embossing boards that we distribute from a company in the UK, which are all about decorative embellishing. We've got lots of samples on the boards with them, so it's for making different shape handbags and things like that. So it's just like an add-on range. Do they fit into there? There are ten different ones. All in the catalogue. Do they fit into the crafter companion? Yeah, you can use them in conjunction with it, but they're not specifically designed okay. to. So that's all the different ones. Oh, okay. And they're all double-sided, and they all do different things. Can I make a suggestion? If you would come up with something to make this like look, look easy to seal an envelope without ripping it apart when people get it, I think you would sell a ton. Oh, why don't you just put this in this? <laughs> I'm afraid that that would be like a kind of a mess. That's too much. Oh, on the end. It's on the end. Just yeah. on the end. Okay. I'm thinking you got to go down the side. Oh.